teal dagger is pretty straightforward you leave too many caps too often that is adding up it's like small value that's adding up over time no one of these mistakes would hold you back from hitting mortal combined all of these mistakes are keeping you in diamond oh, i bet there they are Wait, what Oh, I mean, look, look, this is such a, he literally does what you did. And now he goes to re-peak B, but look, look at the difference. Gun out, peaks, like ready. <laughs> it's actually so funny how one-to-one -one it is. All right, they have bad A fight. Reasonable C fight. Are you guys going to be fighting for A? I can, uh, one. Yeah, so what I don't want to see is you flashing on pistol A. Wait. Actually, I'm going to flash. I'm going to flash. Yeah. I think this is just a bit too much. This ability is really powerful and we don't know anything about their hit yet. And just looking at their comp is kind of ass. You flash because Rose was late. Yeah, but if you think about it, so the point of your flash, if we're going to do it, is you're going to flash, you're going to one way, and then we're going to leave somebody here, one person, and then we're going to rotate off. What are the odds that that's going to happen this round? Well, if Rose isn't there, who's pushing up? ISO, I guess. Okay, but there's no way ISO is going to sit there. I just think it's unlikely that that scenario is going to come to fruition, especially on pistol round. And these guys have a bad A fight. They don't have raise. They don't have recon. And without raise and without recon, I don't think they are going to start the round rushing A against the barrier. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. But I'm pretty sure they're going to like wait. If they're going to hit A, they're going to wait. They're going to let you burn abilities for free. And then they might try to take A. That's like what I would do because their team is bad. Uh, their composition. So I think you should hold the flash. Oh, right. It's coming a bit late. Flash first. Still because that's just like minus 250. I hear them getting... You know? Oh, there, there's no orb B. There's no orb B. One from B. I'm going to smoke it. Uh, it's just... You heard your ISO or your fade taking the orb here. There is no orb. B. I hear them getting. What's that really? You said getting. I hear them getting. I thought I heard one from Cover B. I'm going to smoke it. Uh, no, I didn't hear Cover going out. Give me a sight smoke. Not in yet. Not in. Oh, I bet. There they are. Wait, what? what? Okay, you're, you're kind of doctor turn a thing. So first, your pistol's not even out and you're peeking. Second, you're aiming at leg height. And third, when you see the guy, you just start spraying and unswinging. All of these things are bad. And they're combining to form a player who's not going to get kills often enough. Dr. Turniping? Look, man, Dr. Turnip has earned that title. I want Dr. Turniping to mean that your king aiming at the head pre-aiming peeking out great but that's honestly that's the term that i would give to kaiser right now if i conversion is typically pretty bad yeah and you should see why you look very insecure yes, if i want to re-peak b main and i'm over here i do it like this i get my pistol out and then i peek i notice where my crosshair is head height i don't do this i get my pistol out i set and then i peek it's a specific order you need the gun out, crosshairs set, and then the peak. If you do this too early, then you get cooked. And we can see it here. Cooked. This should be a free kill. This guy's legitimately walking forwards. I would give myself, unironically, 80% odds of killing this guy. If I peaked here, like if I was like, I think they're walking B, I'm legitimately giving myself 80%. And then, of course, you're full moving every single shot. Even though you have two guys. Like, look, you have ISO with you. It's smoke. Not in yet, not in. You have ISO with you. Why are you running? Why are you running from this fight? That guy should die. Like, like, I, I, I would stay out and fight this guy because you have ISO. Side. Okay, eco sec A. Good. One Shorty, of four good. Yeah, they go B. Whatever. You get one? 
Hell yeah. Okay, right here, right here. So now they can be holding you from B main. You just died. Your gun's not even scoped in. Hell, you can't even shoot the thing yet. You don't peek out like this. Peek out like this. So you can actually kill them. You can't kill them. You're lucky they're not there. Oh, and then you do it right. Then you do it. It's too, you already died. Last player standing. Yeah, whatever. Why are you ADS? Hello. ADS lowers your movement speed. And I'm not sure you want that for... For this week, no, you're just gonna be moving slower. I feel like it'd be easier for this guy to kill you. Uh, Jess also there. Cover going out. Echo's unknown. Okay, I'll see you. Flashing. Good flash. One enemy yep. remaining. Down. Easy. Nice round yet. So I don't Blinding like that you're not aware of this corner. Flashing. So if you see your flash isn't blinding that corner, which is fine. It's fine. Um, but this is sort of what my eyes saw immediately when you threw this flash. So you threw this flash, there's this ISO wall, and there's this jet smoke. So right after this Gecko kill, we really should be shooting right over here. Because that's the only remaining, like, threat. Otherwise, they're back here, and that's fine. If they're back here, we'll deal with that. So, we're just missing this. Enemy remaining. Spike down. Nice round, guys. Thought they were in overflow. Yeah, we just need to realize there's a hole. We left a hole. Leaving holes Flashing. is fine, but we have to cover the hole. So there's a hole right here. We've left it. Nobody's covered it. Nobody's covered it. And. It turns out they were there. It didn't matter this round, but it's just like the thought process is important. You can't, you can't leave holes. The, the pattern is already like apparent in our gameplay. Macro seems fine. Comms seem fine. Util seems reasonable enough. The actual execution of our fights seems weak. Like I don't see people jiggle this angle like this, so I'm not sure why you're doing this. I don't know who's inspired you to jiggle this angle, but generally I see people play this angle over here. Um, sometimes like on Omen, you can even come over here if you have one and get out with a TP. This jiggle does. I haven't seen this. Haven't seen this. And I think you're doing it because it's like almost air quotes safer, but we don't really need to be safer. We need to increase our odds of getting this um pick on the lurker because most of the time this is a 1v1 does that make sense a majority of the time when the enemy team is fighting you b main there's like two types of times we'll call it the pink type and the green type and the green type is the lurker the pink type is five contact explode there's not really another b hit these are like the two times you see people b main okay now let's look at our mini map there's one C. So that means it's not five B main, which means it's probably one if it's anybody. So yeah, that's why people tend to just come into these off angles and hold because you're usually just going to get a single duel. And so you gamble that it's not like two guys walking up on you. But even if it is two guys, you can try and be good for two. But a splitting B through A, that happens. And usually it's one guy who, who walks B main because you can't really take A with just three guys. Enemy spotted Unless the enemy's A hold is crazy weak. There's a traveling. Spike planted. Yeah, we're likely to be a bit too late to the party here. So I'm thinking you're not opening the door because you don't want them to know you're on flank. But let me. 
let me argue against that these guys are going to clear you i'll bet quite a bit of money on average when people come back out mound they're gonna look right here anyways where there's already a guy that's crazy that's just crazy to me i feel like that's really lucky i've lost my bet today the point is generally speaking this is too slow you don't see people do this and the, that's kind of the pattern in our gameplay you're doing things that we don't really see people do much um if we were watching a radiant omen like a pro player they open the door and they flash when we're watching you you slow flank around Spike like your team's fighting for sight right now it's just too slow i can't believe they're not gecko ulting either like And now they do. I'm the flashing region. bend. Okay, hey, where's the hole? Where's the hole? This corner right here. Ping it, spam it from the smoke. Nah, you just you, you just died to it. Fine, since we have three on site. Um, no, they're one off gecko ult. And also, you have three on site. What happens when they start coming out is you really should be throwing this and doing this, and then you just win. Um, I would have liked to see us call Fade over to be main with us here because Fade can dog this way to clear our ass and we can open the door and help Killjoy. Just look at the round right now, Streets, and notice that this Killjoy is alone on C and the enemy team has just gotten a pick mound. It's completely criminal that the enemy team took so long to hit the site. You see what I'm saying? We just got like get granted the world's luckiest round. We don't have time for what we did. The enemy team just happens to be incredibly passive. I get scared of a late mound guy fighting mound from door sucks. I hate opening door. Well, opening door alone does suck. You need fade, but I still would like to open it alone more like stealing sight. Even doing this and coming over here is perfect like if you're a lone street and you don't want to fight the actual angle just doing that will destroy their c hit because all of a sudden the second man and the third man they won't just run out sight with their entry they're gonna do this they're gonna back up and if you time it right you're essentially gonna trade one omen flash for all of their entry utility and they won't go out onto site speed change can i get to the box in time with flash blinding i mean you can always keep me I know. there's like so much you can do like, i'm not really worried about coming this way all of these guys are blind the the biggest thing is we're like we're getting really lucky that they're not on site already it's crazy they're supposedly on site right now with that rain of flash and so street what you're saying is three guys holding sight in reality is one guy stuck on sight and two guys off site this killjoy should be dying right now you see that there should be a clove smoke there a clove smoke here and our killjoy should be screwed the enemy team is just bad i, I don't know how that guy's alive well i guess i do know how that guy's alive reyna's sitting mad flashing bend <laughs> anyways then we flash we leave this gap and you we really need to Right. You just died to it. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. Nice. Minus 150? Am I trying? Or 100? Go. You pop TP. And then shit. Get out of my way. You guys got A? We have spike up. Yeah, they've got spike, man. There's no way. Have we seen Clove? There's no way it's C. They have spike. I don't think so. Yeah, we still have spike, by the way. Yeah, Clove should be towards it. That's right now. Okay, both there. One enemy remaining. Holding us at rubble. They could have crossed. They can be close. I'm gonna flash right now. They could have been right here. Yeah. Stealing sight. Uh, 
Look. One enemy remaining. Look at the vision cones. They jiggle. They see her. Your teammates unswung for a moment. And she actually could have crossed and ran across. Holding us at rubble. I'm gonna and she'd be right here and kill you. I don't know if she has the bomb. Flash right now. Still in sight. Still and just I think you, yeah, you peeked before your flash hit as well. It's all just the small things in your play odd toaster. The overall macro is fine. Yeah, just I just don't like the fights we're getting. They can be much better. No distraction. Just leave me, just leave me. <laughs> yeah, so me personally, I feel like we should be fighting at some point before we give them the opportunity to spam us, especially because we're in an advantage of the ISO pick. Oh, raise the bait for me. Yeah, but we're like plus one. And like at this point, you see two dudes here. You can probably just flash. You hear them all now. Now you hear them all in this region. I'm pretty sure you'd flash three if you threw it right here. And then you peek and yeah, there's three. See. Might be coming. Literally. So all jump scared me. <laughs> Wait, you don't peek out with him? Why did we wait? They said Gecko flashed mound. You asked him as he played C. But you played C two rounds ago. There's two on C. I'm backing up. They use that luck ult. Anyways, against the gecko flash. Um, you usually just hold anyways, and then you yeah, when they flash, you just unswing. And you if you want, you can you can even break the flash and fall back. Um, but if you don't want to advertise op, that's fine. There's two on C. I'm back. Oh, they did burn it. Okay. I'm ready to flash when they come in. I'm smoking from B. Cover going out. When they come in. Yeah, so like, look at the map. Smoking B I'm makes sm sense. Smoking from B. But I would sit right here and hold this smoke. You see why? This Killjoy is playing an off angle for herself to get one. So I would smoke off of Killjoy's contact. I would let Killjoy take this fight and then smoke immediately after. Does that make sense? I think your smoke's too early. You're almost denying your Killjoy info. And by placing this smoke, now the Gecko can walk into it, throw the flash out, and your Killjoy is actually in a terrible position. Cover going out. Run. Right, I'll go out. Cover going out. Your footsteps going back. Yeah, sounds like a. Get out of here. Go back. See, almost there. Fate's almost there. Spike planted. Reloading. I'm smoking main. Shadows traveling. I'm flashing bend. Oh, uh, was it smoke was that side? Nope. Nope. Look. Good. Oh, uh, was it? You did it again. You are not ready. We're, we're getting too lazy with these. Smoke one's back side. Yeah, that's the back side. Yeah, Jet happens to be throwing a smoke. Same idea here. You're already dead. And this is sort of what I'm talking about. When I tell players like Dr. Turnip that players in their games aren't used to facing proper fearless aggression. If you faced a player who was truly fearless and confident and fast with their fights, this deadlock would have turned and been swinging you. And you actually would just die to like an immortal deadlock here. And it's not because they're better aim wise. It's not because they're better mechanics wise. It's because they're just more confident 
and therefore they swing ready to fight more often and faster and like that's it like that pacing is so important and people don't understand that just by peaking someone faster you gain so much advantage in lower ranks uh because people are not ready for it i mean you saw that jet wasn't ready for you which is crazy this guy yeah, should have jump. peaked us one play interesting <laughs> okay wait you just smoked off your own op wouldn't you want to take that line they're out of rain of flashes you want to take this line yeah <laughs> now we take the worst line <laughs> feels bad Oh great, uh, we yeah, have ISO though. Monster on the loose. I got the begins. Oh yeah, monster on the loose. I got <laughs> Yeah, so the, the indicator here for you is the this round is tough. I don't fault you for it. So just remember there's two types of B hits. Yeah. And they've already told you which type it is. Because they threw deadlock gravnet. So we should have immediately tp it away like at this point it's it's time to go it's 5b then we might have gotten out before the uh gecko thrash hit us so maybe one from b i'm ready to flash when they come out i'm gonna smoke from b yeah so in my mind i feel like that's the one flashing not out not out they open the door yeah yeah, that Reyna flashed you so she could go open door. Where is he? Smoke in front, C. Yeah. Does it make sense where you can sort of like tell? There's two types of B pressure. And here you make contact. And this doesn't feel like 5B to me. This is tough. I I'm going to give you homework. This is like the way that we're taking all of our fights. This is bad. Um, when we open this door to fight B main, generally you want to come up onto this mound and fight it like this. You use this mound a and then you can open it again. Y you rarely will try to scale through the first time you open this door. You'll first try to finesse yourself some kills. From their perspective they hear the door opening they're looking like this and you're up there it's very awkward for them and notice people on this side of the door they can't really fight back the angle looks like really bad for them and but for you it looks so open look how much you see but for them i'm gonna do it again look how did they fight mount and the door's opening they usually look bam oh wait mount's getting covered this angle feels so awkward for them and so like easy for you so it's up here. I feel like you've been watching pro players, but you've only been watching sort of for, I guess, the macro. You haven't really tried to fight the way that they fight. And maybe it's because like their aim is better than yours and you feel insecure about that. I'm not sure, but. Hey, you do a bad A fight. One from B here. This doesn't make too much sense. Oh, we made noise. You break breakable. Shadows traveling. Stealing sight. <laughs> and there you go. Full W too. One ceiling. There's two in the smoke. You're looking at me map. Yeah, but your kills are wider. So your killjoy is over here and you're peeking over here. So this angle is only you. Now, of course, Rana happens to come really wide, but one ceiling. There's two in that smoke. Oh. 
78 oh. on Reyna, healed. Reyna's over here, it's ceiling. Remaining. Ending. 60. Nice. Spooky. For default. Uh, uh, great. There we spread. Yeah, we're hitting into the stack. Why don't you call them A? Because they opened door. They opened, they smoked off A and they opened the door. Yeah, I guess it does look kind of like A. And the IC is nothing C. Yeah, lucky. I just want you to see what opening the door has done to our site hit the enemy team who opened the door is they're opening it alone and there's a round where I wanted you to do this look what it's done to our site hit you should be dead um three guys now have stayed back main and this reyna is backpedaling mound so she should ideally not die if she plays well yep didn't think one would be in smoke already because clove was so far up Yeah, timing's just off. Um, so Clove dies. Your ISO pop shield at 138, which is what fucks you. So you've actually advertised the hit now. Which means this guy is here seven seconds later at 131. Now. This ISO shield makes noise. So our contact was earlier than we realized, if that makes sense. That's why they're opening the door so early as well. And so, yeah, this deadlock actually had like four bonus seconds to work with. Uh, but now you definitely have all of this space. There's no way they're there. So I would grab this guy's gun and just fucking push through. I'll smoke off uh, main and one. I feel like we're just way too exposed to jet threats this whole round. So you kill Gecko. We know that Reyna open door. We don't know anything else, do we? So Jet can be coming late heaven, late a link, or she could have come over water, or she can be flank. Like all of these are threats. And the best way to deal with that is usually you just like walk something. So like by walking this way, you can sort of eliminate the a rap threat and at a certain point you can be like okay not there and then you can come out look here and so i'll be like okay it's not that and then we can sort of like chillax um we could maybe try to help killjoy i think it's a bit tough maybe wait for a smoke but if you watch here you don't really peek the uh, the jet who could be rotating back here because remember, the jet's actually the last rotator. If they fought A, she's coming this way. Here, you did not peek A link. You're dead. And so we're exposed to like all of 
like both of these in my like mine most likely um angles and then your killjoy finally she picks up a link for you but this whole, you're still exposed to uh late upper i'll smoke off uh main in one second yeah and now we're we've already misplayed if you want to win this 1v2 and you know they're both main this smoke is really good shadows traveling now you have to come out if you don't come out and you wait and you let them out of this smoke without contesting now they they get everything on you you feel so our insecurity is costing us this round because yeah they're already out they ran out and bam i can't believe this dumbass looking at link but it doesn't matter fuck i hit him for 113 yeah so it should be more like fuck why didn't i hold my smoke why did i let them out that's like the issue you let them out and the smoke was so good timing wise you, you had them you, you could have come way out off angle and they don't have um a flash Reyna's already burned them. So this isn't winning, don't get me wrong, but because they don't know where you are and they have to come out of the smoke or wait it, it's, it's way better. Unfortunate. My bad, I kind of threw that. Because I have evidence your B off angle working in my lower skin because you're a toaster. No, that's not unnecessary. Yeah, okay, like, of course that angle works. Oh, fuck. Unlucky. I'm surprised you didn't throw that. Why aren't we flashing for our team's entry? See, so get the net off. Don't we want to flash this line? Here. Stay in sight. This is where they've been playing every sea hold. This is where they were on their eco round. Are guys nading bend? And they are. The bend guy, of course, is dead. They got naded. But Cloves just got a free kill. Flashing backside. This place, me smoking water? Uh, no, I think the water smoke is fine. You're just sitting here doing nothing. You water smoke? Now, instead of removing net, you can just TP. You just TP forwards to get close and paranoia. You have to not hit teammates with paranoia. Uh, yeah, throw ones that you see pros throw. This is like a very common paranoia. Here. And you use pings because the height is kind of hard. Stealing sight. Yeah, you're just... Flashing backside. Yeah, and now this clove is gonna get off. So this clove got a free kill, and they're probably living. It's no good. Free smoking waterfall. It's too early. Two CT, two CT. I'm detained in the smoke. Oh. In the smoke, in the waterfall smoke. Out. Yeah, look at this. Wow, we're actually gonna lose the round. Like these rounds are so easily winnable. You just need to start being more perfectionist about how we're hitting the sites. I who do you watch? Who do you watch? Who's your Omen, Lotus, Provo? What what's the name? Give me a name. Who's your I want to be like them? Xander? Sure. He'll be walking up. Oh, I mean, look, look, this is such a. He literally does what you did. He'll be walking up. And now he goes to re peak B, but look, look at the difference. Gun out, peaks. Like, ready. <laughs> it's actually so funny how one to one it is. It's literally the same round that you did pistol round. He'll be walking up. But we ready our crosshair before we peak. 
Zenja knew it. Yep, so Xander went to cover that, that so we don't get the flash for our team on the C hit, unfortunately. Right. No water, no water. I'm blinding. Bam. The first C hit where we're actually executing, where Xander's with the team, is right there. Can we break it? Nice break, I'm blind though. So like, let's just compare this bit of our play. So Xander was here, Omen flashed. Bam, this was our first smoke. I'm gonna use green to label things that we both did. I'm gonna use purple for Xander. And then Xander threw this smoke in the post plant. And Xander came out with his team and then in the post plant TP'd up the post plant. You threw this smoke and then you TP'd up immediately. And then, and then you re-smoked water. Do you see the difference in strength? It's very, very clear to me. And when you're watching, this is sort of what I need you paying attention to. Like when you're studying Xander, I don't want you thinking, oh, I could have done this because we did X. I want you just saying like, what does Xander do when Killjoy Alt takes all of sight? Find a VOD, see what he does, and then just do that. Because hopefully the decision making, like these sight hits, how we use our util should be drilled. You have to be more prepped. And so our omen looks freeform. It looks like you're kind of just YOLOing each round. While Xander's omen, it looks like a flow chart. The actual sight hit, once we get to that stage, it's very, it's been dry ran a thousand times. He knows exactly what he's going to do on this hit. And it's not fair because it has been dry ran. He literally has server time with his king professional team where they hit Lotus C site a hundred times before lunch. And all they do is hit Lotus C site until he's king never misses the flash, never misses the TP, never misses the smoke. And he always has perfect crosshair placement. It's not fair. That's the life he's living. So of course we're not going to do it at that level, but the idea is the idea is good. We should be trying to match roughly what we're seeing here. Do you see how seamlessly he dropped into this fight? Because he's already dry ran this. This is not an accidental drop. That's what he does after he's been spotted boxes. He takes this fight. Loading. Stupid smoke. Damn it, now we're getting free form. Uh, and notice, even though he's super locked in on the fight, we have angle advantage, we're aim close to head height, we still die. Because that's like the game. This Reyna diffed us. Keep your cross. Uh, I wouldn't flash here. Yeah, fuck. The, the jet's opping, dude. You are opping C, right? You did this one round. You take a shot, you come back here now. Are you really gonna come back over and peek? Fuck no. They could be wide. You're coming to one of two places. You're coming bend like this. I'm sorry, one of three places. Top site like this. Or back pillar like that. You're afraid of Jet trying to be them with dash. What do you mean? If Jet tries to be them and jumps out into the entire squadron of your teammates, you don't need your flash. They're dead. I'll smoke so we can get across. No. Hey, look where she is. Oh. No distraction. I'm going in. What? That's crazy. Shadows traveling. You're full gambling water. That takes CT. One enemy remaining. Both And we win. I'm smoking them off. I'm smoking them off. Chill, 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 chill. Okay, you got him. You got him. GG's. Easy. Easy. I don't like how he planted in a 4v2 
You planted sort of gambling that they wouldn't kill you waterfall. You're just kind of just giving like a in out to the enemy team. I would just play safe. Like super safe. Um, if you felt like you had CT control, you can also play it right here. Safe from water. And it allows you to um, you can just play CT. Yes. Both of those would have been fine. The TLDR is pretty straightforward. You leave too many caps too often. That is adding up. It's like small value that's adding up over time. No one of these mistakes would hold you back from hitting like immortal. Combined, all of these mistakes are keeping you in diamond. So we need to slowly whittle away at them. And I suggest we start with two things. You need to be 100% ready for fights that you swing. This means you must be scoped in on a weapon or peeking if you have a scoped weapon. This means your gun must be ready to fire before peeking if you have a gun. This means your crosshair must be at what you believe to be head height before exposing danger. Boom. And then attack site executes should match Sander in your next block. Smoke plus flash timings. Post plant positioning. These are the two big ones. So where you play in the post plant, how you reposition in the post plant, and where you're flashing, where you're smoking. Uh, because this is going to your we literally saw rounds where you would have won if we just did that correctly um these two things if we look at our game let's add them up real quick so we've gotten lucky three times so far so if we finish these notes it would be six one for sure with no luck right now it could arguably be two to five in the enemy's favor if um your mistakes got punished each time which can happen you can get unlucky and your mistakes will get punished every time in a game so the variability in our play means that this score line could be two to five if xander were playing in this lobby it would be six to one maybe seven oh but we'll say six to one like it would be a hundred percent even though we can't control these guys we can't control them so because xander leaves no doesn't leave these holes your score can range between all of this xander would almost certainly be six to one here Yes, the game would end this round with the proper omen flash. Flashing back sight. Like with the proper sight hit, we would win this round and the game would be over 13-3, GG. Just by focusing on these two things, nothing else. Um, the I'm ignoring the other um, the other issues. Oh, actually, my bad, my bad. It'd be like 13-4. I included your fucking defensive angle. Hold on, C sight. We won't fault you for that. We won't fault you for that. My bad. I, I counted that round. 13-4. <laughs> <laughs> Just focus on these, th these two for now. And then once you like feel like you really have these locked in, look at the other ones. Look at the holes in your utility and your defensive angles. And uh, not just angles, but like whether or not you open the door or flank. You got me.